Ahead of April 27, 2021, severe weather was forecast to pop off in central Texas. But there was a curious secondary region up in Colorado and Kansas where what was essentially a cold front might pull some moisture into an environment with winds that change significantly with height. Another sign was a region of high three cape. Cape, or convective available potential energy, is a measurement of the area between an environment's moist adiabat line as you travel up the atmosphere and the temperature. With this measurement, Forecasters and chasers can determine the amount of energy that is available in an environment, and therefore its potential to produce robust convection, an updraft. Once you understand CAPE, 3 CAPE then is just the CAPE calculated for the mixed layer instead of the surface for ground level up to 3 kilometers in altitude. Large areas of 3 CAPE, or in other words, 3 CAPE values of say 100 or more, can mean a lot of extra vertical stretching below a storm. Broad areas of rotation below an updraft can sometimes tighten in this kind of environment and form a landspout tornado. Landspouts are tornadoes, but not associated with a parent mesocyclone, or rotating storm. Landspouts are often seen well away from their parent updraft, or even connected to the side of an updraft. A typical landspout is weak, with only 100 mile per hour winds or less, producing just EF1 damage if it comes into contact with structures. Now, I could have been cheap, ambiguous, and also sort of wrong by saying a land spout is like a water spout, but over land. Water spouts are any kind of tornado over water, even the more violent kind that comes from a rotating storm. But most water spouts do form just like a land spout, by way of enhanced vertical stretching and some sort of parent updraft. So a land spout can share characteristics and often look just like their cousin, the typical water spout. But hey, we're talking about Colorado here, so we've got to spin the wacky knob to 11. Mesocyclonic tornado? Land spout? How about a little bit of each all at the same time? This isn't even the first time Colorado has done this. In 2018, the same sort of thing happened in Cope, Colorado. One tornado is connected to a parent mesocyclone, while a land spout also formed, attached to a parent updraft nearby. Well, now I'll just be quiet and just let you enjoy the rest.
Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this Colorado tornado and landspout chase. For more weather-related content, click one of the cards on the screen. Hit subscribe to see future weather, adventure, and astronomy content. Until the next one, I'll see you out there.